Hello, and welcome to the National Weather Service Seattle, Washington office presentation on the Puget Sound Convergent Zone. The Convergent Zone is a local phenomenon that allows the Puget Sound area to experience prolonged periods of rainfall, thunderstorms, and even snow. To outline the contents of this lesson, first, we'll give a definition of the Convergent Zone. Then we'll talk about the ingredients required, how it works, why it causes precipitation, and the kinds of precipitation that occur. Then we'll take a closer look at an actual Puget Sound Convergent Zone event. Finally, we'll give you some safety tips and conclude our lesson with a summary. Let's start with a general definition. A convergent zone occurs when air converges over the Puget Sound. The convergence can cause rain, thunderstorms, and even snow, as we'll see. You can see the convergent zone on the radar image to the right. The red arrow is pointing out an area of precipitation over Seattle detected by the weather radar. A radar image can tell you where it is raining in an area with colors such as green, yellow, and red showing increasing intensities of rainfall or precipitation. In order for a convergent zone event to occur, a few ingredients are required. Winds need a westerly component in order to encounter a barrier, and plenty of moisture must be present. Meteorologists like to define winds by the direction that they are coming from. This is because we like to know where we're getting our weather. These winds, represented by red arrows, are coming from the west towards the east, so they are called westerly winds. Our barrier, in this case, is the Olympic Mountains on the coast of Washington. Finally, we need moisture in order for clouds and precipitation to form. When the air cannot easily travel over the mountains, it must find another way to continue on its path towards the east. Usually, the easiest way for the air to do this is to go around the mountains on both sides, as you can see on this image. When the air meets on the other side of the mountains, it is called convergence because the air is colliding. This convergence causes precipitation. Precipitation is a term for the various forms of water that fall from the clouds, such as rain or snow. When air converges, it is forced to rise. Higher up, it is colder and water condenses out of the air, which results in clouds and precipitation as long as moisture is available. This short animation will show you where there is convergence, there can be precipitation. This short cartoon will show you how the convergence causes clouds and precipitation in some areas and clearing in other areas. After the air has traveled around both sides of the Olympics, it curves toward the Seattle area, often north of the city proper. Once the air collides, it begins to rise. As the air rises, it reaches its dew point and clouds form. When the cloud droplets get big enough, they fall out as rain or snow. The air is then pushed out the sides of the clouds and descends to the north and south of the convergence zone area. Since the air has lost some of the moisture and it is warming as it descends, clear sky areas can be seen. The convergent zone can even result in snow in the Puget Sound area if freezing levels are low enough. Also, an unstable air mass in the area can allow for destructive thunderstorms, complete with lightning and hail. Now we have pictures of satellite, radar, and model output from the National Weather Service for a convergent zone event on the afternoon of July 28, 2001. The first image is a visible satellite image along with local observation station reports. The next image is a radar image along with mean sea level pressure. Notice the clear areas to the north and south of this convergence zone event. The radar shows the highest reflectivities in the convergence area. Here are some safety suggestions to keep in mind during the convergence zone event. Be aware of the risk for flooding during heavy rain events particularly ponding on roadways, and watch out for thunderstorms with lightning and hail. For more information on that, check out our video on lightning safety. If it's cold enough, snow is also possible with a convergent zone. Remember to always keep your weather radio nearby and listen for updates from your local National Weather Service office. And as always, be careful. 
In conclusion, recall that a convergent zone is caused by air colliding or converging on the lee side of the Olympic Mountains over the Puget Sound. This convergence causes air to rise, forming clouds and rain. This can lead to thunderstorms and even snow in the Puget Sound area. Make sure to check us out on your favorite social media site or get your latest forecast at www.weather.gov slash Seattle.